anti-corruption agency Uskok has indicted Croatian tax office chief Nada Chavlovic Smiljanets, according to a report by the daily newspaper Jutani List. The case is seen to be in connection with the arrest of the head of the tax office in Osijek and an alleged order by Chavlovic Smiljanets to suspend the payment of tax debts by a local engineering company last year, causing damage to the state budget of some 12 million kuna. In a TV interview yesterday evening, National Bank Governor Boris Vucic confirmed that Croatia would not see economic growth this year. Asked about monetary and fiscal policy, the governor said that it would not be possible to refinance public debt. On the state of the kuna, he said that the currency was stable and its outlook remained so. Commenting a government proposal to introduce a tax on the interest accrued on savings accounts, Vucic said he did not expect that money would flow to deposits abroad, since incentives were linked to residency and the possible 12% tax would not be enough to divert savings. Deputy Prime Minister Vesna Pusic has also commented on the possible tax, which has triggered widespread criticism from economists and the public. In an interview for Croatian Radio, Pusic said that the government's efforts were directed at bringing the budgetary deficit under control and that Croatia would not be the only country to introduce such a tax. If Croatia did not take such measures, the resulting negative reactions from European institutions would be drastic, she added. Dubrovnik is hosting a two-day meeting of Catholic youth from Croatia and abroad. Around 35,000 young people have been gathering in the city since early this morning to take part in the event with a program on 19 stages throughout the center. Dubrovnik Bishop Mate Uzinic will celebrate communion in the Gruz neighborhood this afternoon. Volunteers across the country are today taking part in the Green Cleanup campaign, aiming to remove illegally dumped waste. President Ivo Josipovic this morning helped clear the surroundings of Zagreb. Meanwhile, in the resort of Opatia, volunteers cleared an illegal site where waste has been piling up over the years. This weekend's effort to free the environment of garbage is part of the international World Cleanup campaign. In sports, in regional ABA basketball league action, Cedevita Zagreb last night defeated Belgrade's Partizan 81-79 to advance to the finals of the league's Final Four tournament. The win also secured Cedevita a spot in next year's EuroLeague competition. Cedevita now faces Zagreb's Zibona in tomorrow's final in Belgrade. And today sees the first final events of the gymnastic challenge underway in Osijek. Croatia's Robert Seligman and Olympic silver medal winner Filip Ude will be competing on the pommel horse, while in the women's events, Anna Jerek is competing in the vault final. The weather this afternoon, mainly cloudy with rain showers, heavy rain on parts of the coast. Winds on the Adriatic, a light southerly Yugo, increasing to moderate in the south. Top temperatures 15 to 20 degrees Celsius in the interior, 19 to 23 on the coast.